It's Friday, it's time for War Tattoos of the Week. The latest in body piercing news and content news. So, you should stick around. What's up, guys? Back at you, Tattoo of the Week again. Jimmy St. John here over at Skin Kitchen Tattoo. Uh, this week, we did a really cool, like, traditional pleat piece on a lady. Uh, it has um, uh, hourglass with a lady's face split in half in the sand, and then we threw a sun above it, and it's got a, a little rose off to the side of it. Uh, she wants to add a little more to it a little later on. So give it a check, see what you think. Uh, let me know in the comments. Don't forget to give us a follow. We always are available for some walk-ins over here at Skin Kitchen Tattoo every day that we're open. Stop by and check us out if you got something in mind or if you need us to think up something for you, we can do that too. Uh, come back and check us out, guys. Don't forget to give us a follow. Uh, I think Wesley's coming up next. Welcome back, guys, um, to Tattoo of the Week. Last week's tattoo was a fun week. It's getting to our busy season, so there's a lot of fun things I'm doing. Um, hard choice. Uh, but I worked on this guy, Kevin. I've worked on a couple of pieces before. Um, and, yeah, this time uh, we did on the inside of his arm. He wanted to do a kind of a gas mask piece with a flower um, and do the kind of black and white with one color sort of thing, like I, I like to do, and it's very popular. Um, so yeah, uh, diving into it, it was pretty fun. He just had some open hands, um, holding a flower um, with a guy with, with a gas mask. Um, I went online, I found, I think it was a photo from Chernobyl actually, um, is what I think the picture actually said. So I just kind of sketched out the guy's picture face um, and then found some hands that weren't even those hands. I um, just used them for a reference and sketched them, sketched them in for the shape and drew them in as if they were gloves and then uh, chose a poppy flower because they're red, they're bright, and kind of allude to that kind of poison factor for fun. So um, Kevin was a cool, fun client. Uh, he was interesting to talk with again, and he really enjoyed the piece. I hope you guys are enjoying it too. Um, give us a like and subscription or whatever, and we'll see you again next week. Davo here with the body piercing news of the week. Had a busy week. Very, very, very busy. Accomplished a lot, did a lot of piercings, met a lot of people, put up a lot of videos, as in three of them, but we'll get to that here in a second. Uh, before I do that, in piercing news, <laughs> it continues to crack me up, and I have a feeling I'm the only one that it does. Uh, running a special till the end of March, and this is a YouTube, uh, Facebook videos only special, so shh. You can only find out about it here. But come in between now and the end of March. Use the secret word Rover. Rover. And get $10 off the piercing of your choice or group of piercings. Limit one per customer. And it has to be during normal business hours, which are Thursday through Monday, 2 to 8. So that'll run until the end of March. Now it's time to move on to what we like to call content news. Put up a lot of total of three videos, uh, actually four, four videos, if you include the update. So we did the update, of course, on Friday. Saturday, put up a the latest of pros and cons by a piercer. This episode, I did the pros and cons of getting multiple piercings done at once. Um, it's pretty in depth, talks about that. If you're thinking about getting multiple ear piercings or, you know, both your nipples done or, you know, five or six different piercings, watch that video. It really talks about what the advantages are and what the disadvantages are. On Sunday, we post the latest episode of Q and A in the kitchen. It is a very good one. We talked about tattoo removal in covering them up for uh, tattoos for special events. Very in-depth conversation, very interesting. If you have a tattoo that you're eh, or you've considered removing a tattoo, watch that video. Lots of good information and lots of helpful hints, as always. 
On Thursday, as in yesterday, posted the latest episode of Body Piercing Basics. This one I covered helmets. Uh, well, I guess it's called piercing helmets and safety gear. What you should consider, steps you can take to help piercings while you're out there, you know, in the wild, riding the motorcycle or the scooter or, you know, the moped. They still do that? They have the button? Or no, that's the ATVs. I had the, yeah. Anyway, so, uh, and I go into, uh, I covered uh, helmets, chest protectors, and face masks. Very interesting if you're an active person and you've often wondered about that or need some hints, watch that video. Also pay attention to the comments. People do make a lot of good suggestions down there too. So that's why you should always read them. That's it for me. Now it's time for Jack. You guys just missed like the best uh, weekly thing I've ever done. I screwed it up. Davo didn't record the audio. So instead of going back and me trying to overdub, which would kind of be fun, we should do that. <laughs> anyway, this is a tattoo I did. Um, took about five, six hours. Uh, it's got, you know, the cross in there and some clappers and uh, the angel. Uh, just a one sitter quitter. Yeah, um, I think it was the guy's first tattoo, sat really well. Um, yeah, he just brought me in, kind of uh, some ideas with a rough sketch, and uh, voila, that's what we ended up with. So if, uh, if you are kind of in a similar situation where you've kind of got some things you know you want, but you're not quite sure how to put it together or if it could be put together, that's what we do. Bring it to us and uh, we'll let you know. We can come up with something pretty awesome, I'm sure. Uh, best way to do it? Email the shop, shop at skinkitchen.com. Uh, tell us your ideas. We'll find you some time. We'll bring you in and we'll make something awesome. All right, guys. Uh, until next week, be nice to each other and we'll see you next time. So, now you have w seen the tattoos of the week. You've learned of the latest in body piercing news and you know about the special. What's left for you to do? Well, if you're on Facebook, give us a thumbs up and let us know that you like it. Also, share it with absolutely everybody you know. Annoy them. Tell them they must watch this. Then, uh, if you want to see the videos that are mentioned in this video and the rest of the videos on our channel, click on that link in the description. Um, also, if you'd like to purchase some of our merch, there's also a link for merch. If you're on YouTube... Give us a thumbs up. Let us know that you like it because we like it when you like it. Uh, click on the subscription uh, button if you haven't already and hit the notification bell so you're notified every single time we post something. Check out our merch store. Uh, if you're on YouTube, there's a few things in the bottom below this video in the merch shelf thing. Uh, they're still approving a few of our designs for some reason. They're held for review. Too racy for prime time, I guess. Uh, yeah. <laughs> you can also go to the link in our description uh, on both YouTube and Facebook. Other than that, here's hoping all your tattoos and piercings heal with ease and without a single issue. And if you're in the Des Moines, Iowa area, we hope to see if you're tattooing and body piercing needs in the future. Thanks a lot, everybody, for watching.